Uh, we're now into the final stage of uh, this uh, stable. Now, as you can see, I've already painted it black. Uh, that's my basic undercolour, uh, which is this stuff here, uh, De La Rona. It is, you know, it does cost a bit, but it, it is a big, big tub. Um, normal size paints what I buy, I like this size, you know, Americana range, etc, deco art, uh, which again you can find in most hobby shops, um, hobby craft, that sort of thing. Uh, uh, so what we're going to do uh, is start a paint job. Now I will be removing the roof itself anyway, because uh, that's mainly going to be wooden uh, and actually just painting the stonework etc. Uh, we'll then deal with, with the inside of the actual model itself. Um, again, cobble floor, that's going to be, uh, I think we'll do that grey, I do, do like it in grey, with grey cobbles. Uh, and then we'll go on from there, so uh, next thing will be when I've got my brush in my hand and we're ready to paint. What I've done, I've put some of that black in here and uh, what we're going to do now is just add some white in. Just to start with the grey, uh, it is going to be quite a, a, a dark grey, so I'm just going to add a little splodge of white in there first. As you can see, not a lot. And to uh, start giving that a mix. Once this is all mixed up, we'll see what sort of grey we've got. If we need to, we can always add a bit more grey, uh, a bit more white, uh, just to make it more grey. Which, looking at this, it's going to need a little touch more. Now, the reason I do a fairly dark grey on top of black is because I'll do about three different coats of the paintwork. Uh, I don't know if you know a technique called dry brushing, but that's what I'll end up doing. There we go. Mix that in. You can see it's just going in, and it's a quite a thick mix. And it will take a little bit of time to dry, but that's the one thing about these acrylic paints, over oils, etc. They do dry quite quickly. So I'm going to go with that. I think. So as I say, we will be putting some others. In there, let's pull that out of the way. And we'll start with model. Now, basically, all we're going to do is lightly flick over with the brush um, just to basically catch the detail and uh, highlight it, but you know, not too lightly, obviously, as, as, as I do it, I will go lighter. But just to give you a quick idea of what I'm going to do is just flick over like so like that as you can see it is leaving bits of the black in there uh, it is going in the creases as well but you just all you do is just alter the heaviness of how you go over this raised detail and not only that i mean even even if you do go too high uh, too deep with it and it does go into the black don't worry about it leave it like that because you'll get different effects with the uh, with the paintwork like you would do in stone so it's you know just a bit of trial and error as to uh, how much you do it and like i say if you make a mistake don't worry about it if you're not really happy with it you can always go over it again with the black and start again so anyway that's how it's going on at the moment, so what I'll do, I'll uh, stop the video, paint it up and then you can see the finished results when I've finished it. So as you can see, I've uh, finished painting it, and there we go, the uh, final result. Well, like I said, that's the base coat. So the next thing I'll be doing is uh, adding some more white into the paint mix, and to... Uh, uh, putting on the second coat so again all I'll be doing is adding this white to it and uh, I'll show the, sh show the, uh, the shade in a second 
Okay, so that's the actual shade I'm going to be using. Uh, just mix that up by adding a bit more white to that grey that I'd already got. And uh, what I'm going to do now is just try brush it on. Right, so dry brushing is basically getting a piece of, cloth, a piece of tissue like this. Just getting some paint on your brush and then just basically dabbing it on like that. Take most of the paint off but still leave residue uh, of paint. And then, again, you start lightly covering the model where you're wanting the paint to go. Like so. Nice light brush actions. Don't forget to move your brush in different directions so that you get a nice even coverage like so okay so hold on. there we are and again like I say I'm only doing it lightly so I want little bits of shadow and that left on the stones so that it brings out more detail and brings it out so it looks more lifelike. Okay, so once again, I'll continue with this and uh, come back to the video once it's all done. This is what it's looking like with the, uh, the second coat. So as you can see, it's highlighted. I've also done the, uh, the cobblestones in there, like so. And you see what I mean about the uh, different shadings that's picking out. So next up is uh, yet another lighter grey colour. Uh, I'll be using the same technique again but putting less paint on it. It's just basically for highlighting now. So uh, I'll uh, come back to you in a second. So as you can see I've uh, put a blob of uh, white paint in one room and what I'm going to do is add some of this grey to it because I do want a light highlight so just mixing that in there like that a bit more grey I think and then just mix that in more like it. So all we want is just a light grey colour, like so. Okay. Right, so that's that mixed up. So now what I'm doing, I'm just unladen in the brush. Again, give it a quick wipe off, like so. And this is where. You really start dry brushing. So a tiny little bit on the brush itself. Get rid of the excess like so. And then start to blame. Just like that. Very, very light and very, very slow brush technique. Basically all we're trying to do is just pick off all of the highlights now. Obviously with that one being blob like that. Just tap a bit more on that. You will get odd pieces like that where it's uh, a lot of the lighter colours gone on. Not too worry because it just adds that bit of difference in colour in the stone itself. So, oh. there we go. So, now you've seen the technique. What I'll do is come back once I've got it all done. So, there you can see, all finished. And uh, that's all the inside. See what I mean about the uh, leather uh, type wallpaper, it brings it out so it looks like cobblestones. Uh, let's see the wall and uh, the wall there. So like I say, I mean that's that's basically the stonework done. 
Uh, the only thing that that will need now is just a bit of uh, weathering, which I'll do uh, in a later video. Okay, so that's that all done. And the next bit will be the uh, actual woodwork, uh, which will also be the roof section as well as these uh, stables, etc. And then finally the uh, internal walls, which I'm going to make look as if it's a, like a rendered wall. Okay. The woodwork. Now I've already painted this uh, top bit as you can see and around the sides of the base coat of uh, this burnt umber brown colour. Uh, uh, next step for me to do is actually the uh, stables. Now, again this is going to be a, a few coats of paint. This is the one I'm using at the moment. Like I say, burnt umber by Deco Art. Uh, from their Americana range, they do quite a lot of different browns and greens and colours. Uh, there's, there's loads to choose from. So, like I say, uh, I'm going to crack on with this, uh, get this all this woodwork painted, and then uh, come back to you once that's all completed and we're ready for the next layer. Um, just as a quick point to note, all I'm using is basically that and uh, watering it down slightly. Uh, because it is thick and I want it to go into cracks etc uh, ready for all dry brushing and that will bring all these uh, nice uh, wood details out of this balsa wood so I'll get on with that so as you can see that's it all done there uh, uh, all coated now my next lot of colour is uh, a couple of different colours to be quite honest that's what I've made which is like a a brownie mustard colour which is made up of uh, this burnt umber, uh, this fawn colour, uh, this yellow, just a slight smatter of the yellow just to give it that mustardy type thing and to lighten it off a bit, a bit of this white. Now what I'm going to do is exactly the same as what I did with the brickwork which is to uh, basically dry brush over it. Uh, uh, leaving the burnt umber in the creases etc and just basically accentuating the highlights so that it brings out the detail on the model itself um, I'll be doing that with this and also the uh, the roof boards uh, uh, the actual t roof tiles themselves I'm leaving them at the moment because I'm going to do them a different shade of brown uh, basically for a, a more weathered look I'm going for uh, with the roof so once I've actually done this, I'll uh, come back to you. That's that second coat done. Uh, as you can see, I've actually painted the uh, walls of the stalls as well uh, in that colour. The reason I've done that is, is because I'm going to be bringing that up uh, to a like a white, off-white sort of colour for inside. Now, next stage, again, using that same colour but adding more white to it. Basically to give that really light highlight to it and to finish off picking out that detail uh, uh, so I'll get that sorted and uh, uh, we'll go from there that's that all sorted uh, um, it's still not finished yet on the woodwork I've still got some work to do on that uh, um, which will be a wash so that'll be the next thing that I'll show you once uh, I've finished all the painting now the back walls as you can see I've done and uh, basically I've done that at the bottom that you can see there, I'll just point it out, uh, you know, there we are, so as you can see these pieces here at the bottom, where it's not the, uh, the lighter colour, I've done that for a reason which is basically damp coming up the wall, uh, uh, next coat of paint will be uh, this one, which is uh, again an Americana but it's a buttermilk and I'll be using that as is we are adding white to it okay so uh, I'll get that sorted and show you the next stage so that's that next coat put on and as you can see that bottom bit now is coming out more clear so I mean basically like I said before it's, it's representing like damp, milk, filth that sort of thing you know where they've cleaned stables out but it's obviously things has gone up the wall now next coat will be the final coat for this back wall which will be the uh, white which I'm going to do in a sec and uh, then basically it's a matter of uh, then 
looking at what we can do to actually get this um, finishing bit done on woodwork uh, which will be basically a wash which I'll show you how to do in a sec once I've done um, obviously the white so I'll speak to you in a minute here we are uh, that's all completed uh, I have actually done uh, these here painted them black for now but uh, that's about as far as I'm going to go at the moment with this part of the building uh, next job is the actual roof to bring everything up up to uh, where I am with the rest of the building now I've already painted this uh, uh, with a dark brown again it's going to have uh, a what they call it uh, a wooden tiled uh, uh, roof so basically all I'm going to do with this is do exactly the same as I've done with the others uh, with the other painting and that's get three shades so once that's all done I'll come back to you yeah, and that's all uh, nice and uh, painted finished so uh, next stage on this will basically be uh, the finishing touches which will be weathering which uh, like I said I've got that wood in there to do this wood outside the roof to weather and this walling but uh, uh, that's the next job but, uh, it's coming along nicely looking uh, quite neat to be honest 